So taking a look at the pulp strip project for the Grindhouse uh, Volume 2 collection. Once you open it up, if you're in the single project, you're going to get the pulp strip project timeline. This is just going to be the entire render. Everything's going to be simply labeled. Here's your pulp strip uh, timeline. So if you double click inside the pulp strip, we have our tools up top here. Okay, so we have our color presets once again. Our lens grind mixer, once again, exposure, focus, everything we've gone through in the other tutorials. So we have nine cameras. And moving down, we have a little bit of haze that just kind of felt like I needed to add. And you can simply shut that on or off. If you turn it on, you're just going to get a little bit of a haze below there. Uh, flickering, so we have this flicker on. You can, again, shut that on or off and your grains and then once again your scratch mat for which you can just simply double click and change drag and drop or stack however you you feel you can see here that uh, I'm using two different scratch mats but you can of course change that so you can right click go to reveal layer source and project and switch your, your scratches however you wish or in this case, if you wanted to shut the really hairy scratch off, you know, you just get a kind of a cleaner outcome. And once again, I just left a few different drag and drop pre-comp mats uh, there for you, such as the uh, fire dust and light flares. Uh, also some particles. This particle, if you choose to, I didn't use it in the preview, but I did have it in there because originally I did build it and then decide the last minute for the preview, I really didn't want it. Um, it was just a quick choice, but if you turn it on, this particle system, which is simply CC Particle World, it is utilizing a particle texture, and that particle texture is this kind of like dusty chunk. So you can of course change that if you wish, but I thought I'd mention it. Changing your text and your images, and we're going to do that. Uh, we can do it a number of ways, but let's look at this placeholder reel. So if we double click inside there, we are going to see this long elongated comp here, okay, with our placeholders. And you're going to notice these markers here. And what these markers are simply telling you that these are the points of where this specific placeholder is seen within the camera when it's not seen. So, you know, they're pretty much in and out points. So we can see here that if I highlight placeholder number 12, that here's the pulp strip. So let's change that really quick. We can just double click, move inside there. So if you go into your text pre-comp, you double click. That's it, like that. And same thing with changing your uh, video or photo. So if we look at the next point of when our uh, pulp strip comes into play. So if we keep moving on, we, we see that we come at this point here. So we can see at this point where our title smashes in, if we again just go back to our placeholder reel. And if we look at our markers, this is going to give us a, a, a timeline of when this placeholder hit. So it's going to be placeholder 2. If I just hit the letter H, it's going to bring me to my hand and I can just move down really quick and say, all right. Oh yeah, all right, that's it. So double click, of course, change your text. And you want to add a video or photo. And drop that in right underneath the text pre-comp. And you just want to just kind of make sure you watch these edges a little bit. So you may have to just tinker with them a little bit so they don't overlap on the frame there. So you could just kind of scale it in just a little bit there. And that should work fine. Once you put that there, you could create a little uh, mask here so we could get our 
rounded rectangle tool and just do that. If you wanted to clean up the edges, you should be fine, but you know, you may just want to do that. Just And then once we go back, here we go. So that's really the simple way to change your text and, and place photos and videos in these placeholders. Uh, look at these markers so that you can gauge when a specific uh, placeholder hits the camera. And just place them in that way. Double click and drag and drop. So have some fun.